Welcome everybody to another workout session with me. So today's class will be using a 1.5 kilogram dumbbell weight. If you do not have any dumbbells at home, then you can always try to create your own, use a filled up water bottle, or even a 500 gram can of um, chickpeas, beans, whatever you have in the kitchen. So see what you have and what you can find and join me on the mat. Okay, so we're going to start off with a light warm up. Gentle side stepping to the side. We're going to do 10 on each side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to take it wider. Two, three, four, five. Now take our arms with us. One, two, three. Four, five. Now for the next 10, we're going to try to come down into a plie squat and come up. Arms above 90. Come down and up. Good. Four, five. Draw the hips back. Good. So draw the hips back. Straight spine. Good. My back is not bent. Chest stays lifted. Good. Carry on. Once you've done your 10, then you can come up to center and start walking on the spot. Good. As you slowly start working into the shoulders. Good. Nice and gentle shoulder rolls. But I want you to really take them up, back, and down. So if you're drawing the circle with your shoulders, keep moving the feet though. I want you to do 10 of these. Once that's done, then I want you to come up higher into your high knees, knees at least level with the hips, and then trying to incorporate your hands and arms, moving arms forward, up and over, back, under, let's go. So nice wide arms and high knees. All the way back behind you and forward. Good, I want 10 of those. Good. Well done. Okay, you should feel the muscles a little bit warmed up, warmed up now, ready to continue. Okay, so make sure you have your waist close by. We're going to have our feet hip width apart, facing long side of mat, and we're going to curl down, light bend in the knees, slowly curl down, grab hold of the weight, one hand on either side of the weight, now we're going to roll up, keeping the weight as close as possible to the body, so you should actually feel it passing up against the legs, let's go, so curl up, good, two more times, down we go, keep that weight close, to the body. Up we go. Good work. Now from here, we're going to bring all the weight up, rest it more or less aligned with the collarbone. Okay, and we're going to go into squat position. So feet are a little bit wider than hip width. Okay, if you do have a bit of hip restriction, you are welcome to take it into a bit of a PA squat. Okay, but I do want your back straight. As we go down, the hips are going to be taken back behind the knees. So I don't want that. Okay, I want you to take those hips back, keeping a straight spine, bend the knees, keep the chest lifted. Go ahead, push through the heels, tuck tailbone under, squeeze the hips forward, and take the weights up. Okay, we're going to do 10 of those. So bring the weights into chest first, then come into squat position. Push through the heels. Squeeze, once you straighten up, then take the weight up. Okay, bring it into chest. Down we go. Press up. Good. Bring it into chest. Down. Elbows towards knees, as close as you can get them. Push through the heels, keep those knees apart. And squeeze the hips forward and take the weight up. Okay, so 10 of those. I'm just going to do another three. Good, focus on your breathing as well, so find a nice 
controlled breathing pattern. So you can breathe in as the wave comes in, breathe out as you lower, breathe in as you straighten, breathe out as you lift. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in through the nose, remember? Breathing out through the mouth. Breathe in, breathe out. I'll do it one more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Now we're going to stay in this position. Make sure that your knees are not buckling in or the ankles buckling in. I want you to keep the feet nice and flat. Okay, weight on the heels, coming all the way around onto all the toes, but never on the inside. So keep weight off that inner, inner sole. Keep it nice and lifted. Toes nicely spread out. Knees facing forward. Okay, away from the midline. I don't want to see that. Good. Keeping your back straight. Chest stays lifted. We're going to take the weight down. And then bring it up into bicep curls. Two, three. Try to keep those hips down. Try to get it as level as possible with the knees. Good. Again, you want to reach 10. Good. I'm going to do another three here. I'll be a little bit off with my counting. But the idea is to try to get in 10 to 15 repetitions of the movements. Okay, I'm going to do one more here. Good. And release. Okay, you can stretch out the knees a little bit, shake it off. Good, and then meet down on the mat. Well done. From here, I want you to align the knees just under the hips and hip width apart. Hands or fingers nicely spread out just under the shoulders and shoulder width apart. Into cat and camel three times. Tuck in, tailbone curls in, pull the navel up to spine. Push into the upper back. And release. Two. Curl in. And release. Third time. Curl in. Breathe in. And release. Breathe out. Finding your centre. Nice, strong, long back. Keep the tummy pulled in and ribcage pulled up. Keep that engaged. Straightening out the right leg. Making sure that your hip bone, kneecap and toes are facing down to the mat so we're not turning it out. Okay, lift it up, squeezing the glutes, flexing the foot. Okay, opposite arm goes forward. Externally rotate the shoulder so that the thumb faces up to the ceiling. And try to lift up the arm nice and straight, aligning it with the ears. Chin stays tucked in, neck stays lifted and aligned with the rest of the spine. So we're going to lower and lift. Ten times. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep the tummy pulled up. Three, two, and one. Bring the elbow into knee and release. Right, over to the other side. Straightening out that left leg. Straightening out the right arm. Exterior rotate, the thumb faces up. Lift. And let's go. Ten repetitions. Down and up. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lift, bring the elbow into the knee, and release. Okay, coming into sideline, placing the elbow just under the shoulder. My shoulder is now aligned with the hips, hips aligned with heels. I want you to keep your waist and ribcage lifted. We're going to straighten out the top leg. Keep it aligned and at hip level. Toes, kneecap, hip bones all face forward. Grab hold of your weight. You're going to place it just above the knee. From here, we're pulsing up 10 times from the hip level. So we're not pulsing up from here enough. We're pulsing from hip level and further up. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Hold it there. We're going to take the arm up, palm faces forward. Now, keeping the foot, then, well, keeping the whole leg aligned with the hip, we're going to bring the hand to heel, bring the knee up towards chest, and then straighten up again. Let's do 10. Good. Trying to still stay lifted. Your release and waist is working hard to keep you lifted. Good. I 
Once you've done 10, I'm gonna do another two. And one, once you've done 10, you hold it in that position. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Try to get your head to also line with the rest of the spine so it's not popped up. More there. Three, two, one, and release. In this position, we're going to do external rotations in a sideline bridge. Okay, so we're going to push into the knees, lift the hips up and push them forward. And in this position, open up one, two, three, keeping the elbows locked into the waist. External rotating from the shoulder. Tummy working hard. Another two, another one, and release. Okay, so if this is too much for you to manage today, you can just do the exercise in this position, okay, without having to lift up the hips. Okay, straighten out, just roll that shoulder, shake it off, okay, get a little bit of that tension out. You can also stretch the neck and the shoulder by tilting your head away from the arm that you're working on. And just hold that stretch for a bit. Focus on the breath. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And as you breathe out through the mouth, you can go into a deeper stretch. Good. Okay, over to the other side. Has the elbow directly under the shoulder. Keeping your waist and ribcage lifted. So waist up, ribcage also lifts, pulls in, navel pulls in. Good, straightening out that top leg aligned with the hip and pulsing up. We go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Taking the arm all the way up, palm facing forward. Good, now keeping that leg aligned with the hip, we're going to bring the knee into chest and to heel and open. 2, good, 3. Four, five, six. Try not to arch the back, so keep the tailbone tucked under. Tummy pulls in. Good, once you've done your 10, just gonna hold in that position, holding for 10, nine, eight, focusing on your posture, keeping your waist lifted. Focus on your breath as well, don't hold your breath. Two and one. Well done. Okay, now we're going to do external rotations of the shoulder in a sideline bridge position. You can stay in this position that you see me in now if you feel that it's too much. Otherwise, for more of a challenge, we're going to press into the knees, lift the hips up, squeeze the hips forward, keep your elbow aligned with the shoulder, glued into the waist, and external retaining at the shoulder. We go for 10. Breathing during the hardest part. So breathe out, usually as we take the weight up. I'm gonna do another two, another one, and release. Well done, straighten up, <laughs> roll that shoulder, shake it off, and stretch it out. Take a nice deep breath in, and breathe out. Well done. Next exercise now, we're going to sit up on the sitting bones into our L position. So a nice, strong, long back. Feel as if someone's really pulling your spine up towards the ceiling. Shoulders are relaxed down. Neck is nice and long, chin tucked in and neck pulled back. So I don't want that. Okay, so keep the chin tucked in, neck aligned with the rest of the spine. Nice, long spine. I would like you to try straighten out the legs and hold them in this position for a while. Tummy's working hard. If you feel that you start rounding your back when you straighten the legs, then I want you to come back up, keep the spine straight and bring the knees up. And in that way, you can actually do the exercise. It's a lot better and a lot safer. Okay. So stay in this position for a while. Try to get the postural muscles to activate. 
on your focusing on your breathing making sure that the spine is nice and straight up to the ceiling neck is nice and long shoulders are down good you can try straighten one leg and then the other do that for a while and then slowly see how far you can bring those knees down whilst keeping your back nice and straight keep the tummy pulled in and engaged Rib cage is also pulled in, chest stays lifted. Pull the toes back only if you're able to really get those knees down to the mat. Right, so this you can do 15 to 30 seconds. Okay, you can relax for a little bit, hugging the knees forward. That's when you can round your back. when you really straighten out the spine again this time we are keeping the knees bent grab hold of your dumbbell now we're going to go just off the sitting bones onto the tailbone but without drowning the back so still keeping a nice strong long back we're going to tilt back a bit keep the tummy pulled in walk the heels up towards you and try to lift them up good grab hold of your dumbbell we're going to twist to the one side hold it there for five four three two and one center and over to the other side keep the back straight chest stays lifted shoulder blades squeeze back three two one and release meet in center straighten the arms out keep the tummy pulled in and we're going to start marching two three four five six seven eight nine and ten well done relax hug the knees and you're welcome to repeat that and do another set otherwise let this be your first set especially if you're not really used to doing that movement in both position next move grab hold of your weight and slowly curl down onto the mat trying to get the lower back to touch the mat before the rest so let's slowly take it down make sure you've got enough mat behind you roll down nice and slowly pull navel to spine good well done keeping your weight more or less in between your two hip bones bring the feet as close as possible to the hips feet are nice and flat hip width apart your knees are also hip width apart from here, we're going to tuck the tailbone up, pull the navel to spine, rib cage draws down. You should feel the whole spine press gently against the mat. In this position, we're going to lift up the hips. Remember, keep hold of the weight in between the hip bones. Make sure that you're really squeezing the glutes up. And we're going to pulse up for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keep it there. I want you now to come up, lifting the heels. So up onto the balls of the feet, lift the heels up, and from there we pulse another ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Flatten the feet first, then slowly curl down from the chest and rib cage first. Then the upper abdominal muscles, the belly, lower abdominals, then the hips and the glutes. Well done. From this position, we're going to take the weights up. Bring the knees up to 90. Again, you should feel the whole spine press gently against the mat. Good. Now we're going to slowly bring the heels down to touch and take the arms above the head. Slowly trying to do this without arching the lower back jutting up that rib cage and slowly come in to center let's go nice and slow control heels touch and come to center three come to center four center five Good. Breathe in as you release to 
touch and breathe out as you pull the navel into the spine to try to flatten the lower back. Try not to arch it. Come up. So you want to do 10 here, but you want it nice and controlled. If you feel that it's too heavy to try bring both heels down, you can always alternate bringing one heel down and then bringing the other heel down. So I'll do three of those. Okay, we take one heel down, breathe out as you lift, and alternate other heel down, and lift. Okay, so you can do that too. So the idea is to do 10, double, or 10 on each side, single. Okay. Once you're done, then you can bring the knees into each other, I mean into the chest together, closed in, and rock from side to side. Good. Straightening out the arms again with the dumbbell, make sure you're holding onto it nice and tightly. We're going to bend at the elbows and then straighten. Okay, so the elbows stay put. Bend the dumbbells down just to touching the head and straightening up. Okay, now as you do that, I want you to also straighten the knees and release. Two, three. You're welcome to flex the feet on top. It's so an added stretch. Really tighten the thigh muscles. Again, making sure that your spine is pressed against the mat. That you're not shutting up that rib cage, that you're not arching the lower back. You want to do at least 10. So with all the movements, I want you to aim for 10 to 15. I will be a little bit off with my counting. But on your side, try to do what you can manage. I'm going to do another two here and another one. Now the arms are nice and straight, the legs as straight as you can get them. Keeping the tummy pulled in and engaged. Okay, from here we're going to take one leg down, trying hard not to arch the lower back, just until it's hovering up above the mat, and pull it in. Alternate other leg, we're going to do 10 on each side, two, three, four. Five. Navel pulls down to the spine as you lift that leg up. Good. Gonna do another two. And one. Good work. Bend the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. Here we can rotate the ankles and switch sides. Good work. Okay, coming over into the side, lifting up. Okay, coming back into side line. This time with straight arms, grab hold of your weight. We're going to come up into our side line bridge. Remember, up we go with the hips and push them forward. Okay, we don't want the back arched. So bring the hips forward, okay, grab hold of the weight. We're going to take it all the way up, bring it in, and down. Bring it up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good work. Bring it in. Lift that leg up straight. From here, ten to fifteen pulses up. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do another five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, over to the other side. Remember, rotate the wrist, stretch it out. And again, you're welcome to do this movement on the elbow as well. Okay, so you can do it on the elbow as well, taking it down and up. Okay, so see what works for you, what you're comfortable with. Okay, let's go. Waist up, rib cage up, hips up, and pull the glutes forward. Okay, when you're ready, taking it from down mat, up to waist, and then all the way up to the ceiling. Bring it in, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work. Straighten the leg. Pulsing out 10 to 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Shake it off. <laughs> Roll out the wrists. Stretch them out. Good work. Okay, now we're going to take ourselves forward. Elbows down into the mat. Okay, slowly going to straighten up one leg. Okay, remember elbows are directly under shoulders. I'm trying to get that right. Okay, tummy pulled up. Rib cage also pulled up. Keep the tummy muscles engaged. Lift that leg up. Let's take it into hamstring curls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Pulsing up. One, two, three, four. Heel to ceiling. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the knees in and kicking up. Donkey kicks. Two, kick. Three, kick. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work. Stretch it out. Let's really try to press that heel down. Stretch out hamstrings and calves. Gently pulsing heel down to floor. For a few seconds, or at least ten repetitions actually. Good. Release. Over to the other side. Left squeeze in the glutes. Good. Into hamstrings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keeping the knee aligned with the hip. Pulse up. One, two. Three, foot is flexed, heel up to ceiling. Good. Another three, two, one, into donkey kicks. Let's go. Kick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Well done. Stretch it out. Pulsing heel down to the floor. Really trying to straighten up that knee. Feel the stretch all the way down to your Achilles tendon. Stretch it out. Good. From here, tuck the toes under. Push yourself up into an elbow down the dark position. Also trying to pulse the chest down towards your toes and heels down to mat for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, and one. Slowly inching your way forward into plank position, tucking tailbone under, tightening up the glute, tightening up the thigh muscles, pulling navel to spine, ribcage pulls up. Aiming for 10 seconds, let's go another five, four, three, two, and one, release. Good work, straightening out the chest, tuck the tailbone under. Hold yourself in that extension. Okay, let's do a couple of extension repetitions. So your hands are going to be more or less aligned with your chest. Okay. More or less the width of your mat. So one hand on either edge of the mat. And we gently keep the tailbone tucked under, navel pulled up to spine. Gently lift the chest up, keeping the shoulders down, so I don't want to see that. Keep the shoulders relaxed down, shoulder blades squeeze back, and release. Breathe in, and breathe out as you lift. Really pressing those hip bones down as you come up. Great. Four, full navel up to spine, peeling. The navel up off the mat, squeezing the shoulders down, away from the ears. Keeping those elbows tucked in. Right, I'm going to do number three, but I want you to try aim for 10 to 15 of most of the movements we do. So see what you can do. One, hold it. Two, three, four. Now the extension exercise, this time using your dumbbell. You're going to take the dumbbell behind you, just under the glutes, just under the buttocks. One hand on either side of the dumbbell. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. Keep the tailbone tucked under. Pull the sitting bones together and up to the belly. Try and lift up that ribcage and chest. And from here we pulse up and the hands and dumbbell down to heels. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come down, rest your head. And we're going to try and lift the arms up, squeezing the shoulder blades. Lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, release, well done. Slowly come up into child's pose just to release the back a little bit. Focus on your breathing. Nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Allow the spine to curl as you press the hips down to the heels. Slowly coming up onto all fours into cat and camel and release. Two, release. You can do one more here. Tuck in, breathing in and breathe out as you release. Good. Finding your neutral. Remember, navel pulls up to spine, ribcage also pulls up. Spine is nice and long. Chin tucked in, neck aligned with the rest of spine. Grabbing hold of your dumbbell, we're going to take the arm up, align it with the shoulder. Good, and we're going to bring the arm in and straighten. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, now for the next five, I want you to straighten opposite leg, lift it up, and let's go. Five, four, three. Two and one. Bring it in, bring the knee down. Now we're going to take it diagonally in front and pull it up. Okay, remember you don't want to do that 
Okay, so you don't want to let that shoulder round forward. You still want to keep that shoulder back, but you want to pull that elbow up past the waist. Okay, let's go for one, two, three, four, and five. Next five with the opposite leg lifted. One, two, three, four, and five. Well done. Okay, relax, shake off, pull that tension. We're going to now repeat it on the other side. Okay, so in that quadruped position, hands in line with the shoulders, directly under the shoulders, well, hands and arms, and your knees directly under the hips in line um, or hip width apart. Okay, so now we're going to take the arm up to waist level. We're going to straighten and bend, keeping the elbow stuck there. So I don't want you to swing it. We're not doing that. So keep the elbow closed in. And again, I don't want to see the shoulder rounding forward. So make sure the shoulder stays put and down, chest stays lifted, shoulder blade squeeze. Okay, so keeping it in that position, extend and release. For five, four, three, two, and one. Next five, straightening out the leg, lifting it up. Making sure that you're not overextending or over rotating the hip. So keeping the hip nice and square, hip bones facing down to mat. We do the other five. One, two, three, four, and five. Coming back to center. Okay, 45 degree forward, bringing the elbow in past the waist. Two, three, four, and five, next five with the opposite leg lifted up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. Release. Shake off the whole arm, shoulders. Good. Wrists rotate. And make sure the tension. Has lit. Sorry. Of that area. So stretch out the neck. Do pendulum exercises if you need to. Good work. Okay. Now from this position, we're going to take one leg in front. We're going to lift the back knee. So toes tuck under, lift up. Remember now you're hinging at the hip, back stays straight. We're going to bring the weight up with us, place it just above the knee, keeping the back leg lifted. We're going to rise up, lifting the heel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bend the knee a little bit down, the back knee bends. Holding here for 10. We're going to do another five, four, three, two, one. Drop the heel, bring your weight to center. Good. And now the hand on the same side of this leg in front of you is going to hold the weight. Okay, we're going to come up and take the arm out to the side and come down for 10. Pushing through the front heel, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo. Well done. Come back down. Stretch out the leg in front of you. Okay, so we're just going to rock forward and back. Pull the hips forward to get a bit of stretch in that back thigh. And trying to stretch the hamstring and calves out in that front leg. Good, you can do five to ten rocks back and forward. Good, release. 
over to the other side. Tuck the toes under the back leg, straightening it out, pinching forward at the hip. Okay, making sure that your heel is directly under the knee. Bring the weight placing it just above the knee. Ready in this position, hinging at the hips. Rise up one, two, three. Toes are nicely spread out. Five more. Four, feel the stretch going down. Push the hips forward. Good, last one. Hold it there. You can bend the back knee so you come a little bit more to center. Holding for 10. Breathe. Good, release. Weight onto the same side of that front leg. Bring your weights more to center. And we're going to take the arms out to the side as we come up. Good, push through that front heel. Nice stay center, tuck the tailbone under. Keeping tummy pulled in. Try to retain. Push through the front heel. Try to straighten tight in the thigh muscle. Good. Gonna do another three. Two. And one. Good work. Coming down. Good. And rock. Front and back. Stretching the back the back leg thigh, pushing the hips forward and stretching front leg, hammies and calves. Good. Good, you should feel it. Into the thigh, hip flexor, into calves, pull the toes up and into the hamstring. Five to ten of these. Again, use a cushion under the knees. If it doesn't take too kindly to pressure, the cushion always helps. Good. Well done. Okay, almost, almost over. Okay, now from this position, we're going to have one knee in front, bent in front of us, so 90, 90 degree, either leg behind us. Okay, into our hip mobilization, keeping the tummy pulled in. Okay, we're going to hinge forward. Okay, while the leg is back, and then in order to bring the knee up and in front of us, we're going to hinge back. Good, right, let's do 10. Nine. Eight, try to keep it hovered above the ground. Good, I'm going to do another three, but you try and manage a ten. Last one, bring it all the way up and over, hug it in, straighten the spine and twist. Focus on your breathing, relax the shoulders, twist from the waist. One more side to do. So, switching over. So now that leg that you had curled into the chest is now in front, other leg goes behind you. Okay, so starting with your body hinged forward with that leg behind you, we're going to now hover it and try to bring it forward, pull the tummy in. Good, and hinge forward as it goes back. Try to keep it hovered up above the ground. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good. Last one, you bring it into the chest. Straighten the spine and you can add that twist in. Trying to 
just from the waist. If you here need to turn with you as far as you can get it. And breathe. So you can hold for 15 to 30 seconds, getting the heart rate down. Let's do one more cat and camel. So tuck in, breathe in, release, find your neutral. So you tuck the toes under, up into downward dog position. Okay, pulsing the chest down to toes, toe and, and heels down to mat. Pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great. And we're going to take one leg all the way up, bend the knee, and externally rotate. Feel a nice stretch into your hip flexors, into the low abdominal muscles. Good. Slowly bring it in, knee in between the hands, into a pigeon pose. And relax into that stretch for a bit. Okay, holding it here between 15 and 30 seconds. Once you're ready, pop up again into downward dog position, pulsing chest down to the toes and heels down to mat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Straighten the other leg up, bend the knee, externally rotate. Breathe. Hold it there for a couple of seconds, at least 10 seconds. Slowly square the hips up first, then bring the knees in. Good. And stretch. Focus on your breath. Good. And last but not least, we're going to pop ourselves up, straighten the legs out, into straight arm plank, tighten up the thigh muscles, tighten up the glutes, pull the tummy up, holding, last 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, well done, up into downward dog, Press those heels down, press that chest down, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Walk those feet into the hands, curl in, completely relax the head and the neck, stretch out those knees, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, 